Howdy gamers, old gamer guy here. Welcome to another Stellaris console edition video. It is the year 2296. The PlayStation Network is doing reasonably well, but I did identify a potential problem. I notice our Empire Sprawl is not good. Um, it's definitely, it's not good if your sprawl is higher than your administrative capacity. And my sprawl is 159, my administrative capacity is 50. <laughs> so keep that in mind we'll get back to that later but meanwhile here in the Porabin system we have a colony ship that is ready to go settle a new planet and we have experienced an earthquake on Abdrade Prime uh, so the happiness has gone down by 5% for 12 months and uh, we're going to need to find out a little bit more about how much was damaged and how much this is going to affect us. But luckily, the report is not bad. Uh, we, there was no damage and we even uncovered some useful minerals. So that's remarkable and very lucky. It could have been much worse over there on Abdrade Prime. The Pert Cloud has entered into a commercial pact with the Derp Theocracy. So the Derp Theocracy is a, is, a, is a splinter empire that formed after a war with the Derp Coalition. And I believe the Sacred Cyrilan and the Pert Cloud caused the Derp Theocracy to splinter off and become their own thing. Speaking of war, the Serene Cannabinoids, who are in our Federation, they want to declare war on the Skrek Entity. The Skrek Entity is at war with the Derp Coalition right now. I don't really want to get into a war. I'm just not going to vote. Uh, this will time out in 175 days. So I'm just not going to vote there. Our trade treaty, uh, our trade deal with the cloud has expired. We were just trading active sensor links and that has expired. Construction complete. Meanwhile, one of our construction ships has finished building another outpost and that is, that is related to that empire sprawl problem. So I don't necessarily want them to build more outposts right now, but I'm going to send them down here to build some mining stations. Or research stations, actually. Construction complete. We've been fortifying a space station up here next to the border with the cloud. And now it is time to build some more modules and buildings. We have one extra building space, so I'm thinking it would be good to add a communications jammer. The cloud is friendly with us so far, but that could change because they have now joined another federation. So let's build a communications jammer and then up here in the modules section, how about a hangar bay? It adds a hangar for strike craft. I think on my other space station I I put two gun batteries and two missile batteries but on this one I'm gonna have a gun battery a missile battery a hangar bay and what the hell maybe this will be a big mistake but how about we add another hangar bay as always my decisions might be huge mistakes but uh, what the hell, let's try it out and see what happens. Maybe we'll never have to find out if this is good or not. Maybe we'll never go to war with the cloud, but you never know. Construction complete. Meanwhile, over on Alpha Centauri Prime, 
I've been looking here. <laughs> here's an admission of how little I know about this game, even after all this time. I've been looking at the wrong number to judge whether I could build another uh, district. I was looking at this number when really I should have been looking at this number. And so right now uh, we've got some unemployment going on here. And right now I can build eight districts on this planet, I guess. <laughs> I think that's what that means. <laughs> Once again, uh, I could be wrong. But we have some menial drone unemployment. We have a lot of different buildings we could construct. But how about some mining districts? So now, according to that number, I can still build five more districts on this planet. So, taking a look at Ryle Somat Prime, we have an administrative array being built. But it looks like we can build 20 more districts here. I'm going to add a generator district for now. On Abdrade Prime, we have a generator district and a mining district going up. But we could add 11 more districts to this planet, apparently. So speaking of our sprawl problem, we have a lot of systems that don't have anything useful in them, but I have outposts built. So I'm wondering if it's a good idea to just dismantle those outposts and we'll have a lot of empty space um, that doesn't belong to us, but it will cut down on that sprawl problem. So I don't know. I guess I'm asking for opinions here. What do you think would be a good idea? Should I dismantle the outposts in those systems that have nothing in them. We've received an incoming transmission from the Zuracorp. We have had a deal with them to buy exotic gases on a monthly basis. And that deal has expired, but we want to extend that deal because we have at least one building somewhere that needs exotic gases to maintain it. It looks like there are about five different deals that could be made. Each one of them costs a certain amount of energy credits to make the deal initially, and then also some energy credits per month. I think I'm gonna go for deal number five, which is the most expensive. It will cost us 2,500 energy credits and then another 50 per month to get uh, five exotic gases per month. But we have a lot of energy credits uh, built up, so we're going to make that deal. But look at this. Abdrade Prime, which is the place that was having the earthquakes, there may be a, uh, a hypothesis about why those earthquakes are happening. Now that Abdrade Prime has been settled for a while, some data irregularities have been marked. Specifically, the moon Abdrade 3A does not seem to be made of remotely similar material to Abdrade Prime. This suggests it was not formed at the same time, but rather originally formed elsewhere and somehow was captured by the gravity of Abdrade Prime at a later date. Quite where Abdrade 3A came from is currently a mystery. So this gives us a special project to investigate the mysterious moon. And we are, of course, very curious about it. Situation log adjusted. So let's get started on our special project to investigate the moon. It will take us about eight months. So we'll get going on that. Construction complete. Meanwhile, our upgrades on our space station near the cloud are finished. And I don't believe we can upgrade the station itself anymore for now. Yeah, we can't do that. So I think we should get started building another fleet here. And if you've been watching any of my Stellaris series you won't be surprised to hear that I managed to confuse myself right here. 
I'm creating a new fleet. We're making this station their home base. So far, so good. I'm not confused yet. Let's add some ship designs to the fleet. I've read that Corvette only fleets are a very good thing, at least up to a certain point in the game. Uh, but I am adding one destroyer and one cruiser because what the hell, why not? And then let's add, let's make this fleet 60 Corvettes. I think I can do this. I think uh, <laughs> I can command this many ships. I could be wrong. As always, all of my decisions could be very wrong. I'm not confused yet, at least that I'm aware of. But we'll go ahead, go ahead and go to the Reinforce Fleet button. Push that. And right there is where I confused myself, but I did not know it at that point. Uh, we'll get back to that in a minute because... The Skrek have now insulted us. And uh, maybe we should have gone to war with them. Remember, the Serene Cannabinoids wanted to go to war. We did not vote uh, in that decision. We're going to go ahead and insult them back here. I guess the Kelzen must have voted against the war as well because we have not gone to war. I, it looks like we will eventually, though, which is not surprising. But meanwhile, our colony ship has arrived at our new planet. And right here is where I discovered that I was confused about something regarding that new fleet because I realized uh, one of those new ships was flying through this system, which I did not, ex <laughs> I did not expect it to do. Planetary settlement procedure initiated. But the good news is we have started our new colony. Meanwhile, our special project regarding the moon of Abdrade 3 has been completed, and the mysteries of Abdrade 3A have been revealed. A detailed survey revealed that the moon is slightly lopsided, with the far side of the moon having a disproportionately large share of the total mass. The reason for this, we believe, is that Abdrade 3A once orbited another planet which was destroyed in a cataclysmic explosion. The extra thickness on the far side of Abdrade 3A is because that was the side which faced its original planet. The extra material is part of the mass of that planet which was blown into Abdrade 3A, knocking it out of orbit and sending it eventually into the orbit of Abdrade Prime. We speculate that the planet was destroyed by a weapon or perhaps just an attempt to create a power source based on dark matter, as there are high concentrations of it in the planetary material coating the far side of the moon. This is astounding! And we've gotten some engineering research points, some tech research options, tech progress into dark matter, and there is now dark matter to be, I guess, mined from Abdrade 3A. So this is big news. Okay, so back to my confusion. Apparently, when I hit Reinforce Fleet, uh, that caused ships to be built not only at that station, but at, I guess at all of my stations that have a shipyard. <laughs> and so... I ended up having ships very spread out all across my space and this totally confused me for a little bit. Um, I did realize that I needed to recruit a leader, but see, I thought all of these ships were just going to appear at that station, Brocken Station, but uh, I got very confused for a little while. And also take a look at their recruitment cost, which is being increased 122% because of Empire Sprawl. So that is still a big problem. But at least now the fleet has a commander. <laughs> Technological acquisition successful. And I thought, okay, I just need to merge everybody, but construction complete. I didn't realize that they were being spread out all over the uh, all over our space. <laughs> and every time a new one is built, it's just flying off. I think what happened here is that the initial ship, the first ship in the fleet, was built 
uh, at the station near Earth. And I think all these other ships are trying to join that ship and become a fleet. Meanwhile, that ship, the first ship, is actually on its way to Brocken Station because that's where, that's the home station for the fleet. But I did not realize this for, <laughs> for a while, and so I kept having to mess around and try to stop them from going wherever they were going and make them fly back and have them merge, and, and uh, it was just a big mess. <laughs> No matter how long I play this game, I st it still manages to confuse me. Construction complete. I like to think of myself as being kind of intelligent, but sometimes I begin to doubt whether I actually am intelligent. But in the meantime, during all this confusion, the Sacred Cyrilland declared war on the Derp Coalition. You can see all the ships that are spread around my space, but I think this is a good spot to go ahead and end this video. Uh, the Derper at war, the Skrek, the Derper at war with the Skrek and the Cyrilland now. Uh, so we'll see what happens with that. But for now, as always, thanks for watching.